Through divine guidance, Mary Hardy, her family, and a group of spiritually connected volunteers built the Hardy Pyramid in the heart of the Great Lakes region. The nature, location, and design of the Hardy Pyramid created a profound connection with Mother Earth. This connection is realized by Kenneth Killick's unique design, which is based on the Great Pyramid of Giza and Tesla coil technology. The Hardy Pyramid is constructed with magnetic, paramagnetic layering. It generates a two-way antenna vortex. This antenna is made of double helix layered energy vortexes and transmits energy from the natural motor of the Earth's core into the ionosphere. Likewise, energy flows through the pyramid's antenna from the ionosphere back into the Earth's grid. While visiting the Great Pyramid of Giza, Dean Hardy was guided to connect the energy from the Great Pyramid to the Hardy Pyramid. This spiritual connection united the Temple of Saqqara Lightworkers and gave the Hardy Pyramid direct control over the healing energy of the Earth's motor. The Hardy Pyramid's energy flow continues to provide a beneficial balance of harmonious frequencies to the planet, its waters, its air, and all living things. For her part in understanding, protecting, and promoting pyramid energy, Mary Hardy was blessed by the elders of the planet with the honor of their trust. As Mary gained the knowledge of how pyramids transferred earth healing energy, this understanding allowed the etheric Knights Templar to educate Mary on the use of prayer to connect to Mother Earth's energy source. In a vision, twelve etheric knights demonstrated to Mary the double sword and cup vortexes of the Holy Grail Vortex. Humanity was gifted with the Holy Grail Vortex prayer. As she developed her abilities to balance abnormalities through prayer, the knights guided her to work with others, to spread love and light, and to close doors where evil was at work. Mary created the Sisterhood of the Emerald Fire to unite and educate interested light workers. Mary, the Sisterhood of the Emerald Fire and the Temple of Saqqara Light Workers have used the power of the Holy Grail Vortex Prayer to lessen human suffering by diffusing the harmful effects of severe weather events, counteracting evil intent, balancing resonance frequencies to benefit the oceans, plants, trees, as well as all living things and raising the conscious awareness of humankind. It is the divine mission of the Temple of Saqqara to instruct humanity on how to use the Holy Grail Vortex Prayer. If you believe in the spiritual growth of yourself and humanity, then praying daily with the Holy Grail Vortex will leave a profound effect in your life. Used individually, the Holy Grail Vortex is a powerful meditation that connects your soul with God, Mother Earth, and your spiritual guides. It will clarify your life's intent, promote your own well-being, and guide you to help others to grow spiritually. It will raise your frequency, which in turn raises the frequency of humanity. Practicing the Holy Grail Vortex with another person creates a connection between two souls. It is a powerful way to create mutual intent or enrich a relationship. When three or more spiritual souls perform the Holy Grail Vortex prayer with pure mutual intent, the power of the vortexes have unlimited potential. This potential is realized by the lightworkers connecting to the frequency energy of Earth's natural motor. This further connects us to the planetary grid and all living things that include minerals, water, air, plants, animals, humans, spirits, elementals, and God. By creating a Holy Grail Vortex, we are using a force that changes atomic frequencies. By changing frequencies, the vortexes are changing the energy of atoms. Changing the energy of a thing will then change its mass the mass that is changed by the Holy Grail Vortex is dependent on the stated intentions, 
for which it is created. The Holy Grail Vortex is a source of alchemy that, when performed properly, can create glorious results. For the benefit of all on this planet, it is vital that everyone moves toward enlightenment. Lightworkers have the responsibility to elevate the universal consciousness toward enlightenment and are guided to use the Holy Grail Vortex prayer for that end. It is important to understand that one does not become a light worker by merely learning and using the Holy Grail Vortex prayer. Light workers are first awakened by the practices of meditation, chakra work, visualization, self mind control, breath work, sonic toning, Reiki, Qigong, yoga, light therapy, and aromatherapy. These practices help open the chakras an essential key to effectively performing the Holy Grail Vortex and connecting self to Mother Earth and Father Spirit. Mary was guided to use the Great Invocation as the words to set the primary intent and frequency of the Holy Grail Vortex prayer. The Great Invocation was given to humanity by the spiritual elders to guide us in a common purpose toward spiritual evolution. The Great Invocation has several adaptations and has been translated into over 80 languages. You may use the adaptation or language you prefer to perform the Holy Grail Vortex. Performing the Holy Grail Vortex comes with a high responsibility. That is, it is only to be used with no harm to anyone. Lightworkers must stay pure by maintaining a state of harmlessness. When we ask permission to create a healing vortex, we must consider that our intent will be purely beneficial to the planet and humanity. It is crucial to know that your intent is truly harmless and to state with no harm to anyone before creating a Holy Grail vortex. Honor the process of bringing balance to the planet and you will be honored. Preparing oneself for performing the Holy Grail Vortex Prayer is a matter of connecting to Mother Earth and Father Spirit. The better connected one becomes, the more effective the prayer will become. Be of calm mind. Open the chakras. Activate the frontal lobes of the brain. And be as one with Mother Earth and God. With this prayerful open mind, you will create tachyon energy that will link your intention to the prayer. As this first stanza is spoken, visualize a counterclockwise vortex generated from your heart chakra. The heart chakra, the most electrical part of the chakra system, creates this vortex. Visualize this double helix vortex flowing from the ionosphere down to the center of the earth. This vortex acts as a sword from heaven, connecting you to the energy of the earth's motor. The frequency of divine knowledge flows down from heaven in this vortex. With this statement, add a second counterclockwise vortex to your visualization. This second vortex balances the alchemy of the prayer. We balance the energy frequency to change the mass. This changes the energy to a peaceful consciousness of love within the Earth's motor. This second sword vortex brings our spiritual guides, the elders, and all living things to assist in bringing peace and harmony to the planet. The frequency of the love consciousness returns to the resonant energy field around the Earth and the Earth's aura.
Continue to visualize the two counterclockwise vortex energy flows, and during this third stanza of the Great Invocation, add a large clockwise vortex that flows from within the Earth's core and up into the ionosphere. This vortex provides a cup holding the purity of the first two vortexes. This vortex reacts to the inner vortexes, generating the power of healing that is balanced to your intent. The purpose of growth and ascension flows through this vortex from humanity and into the planetary grid. Now we add the fourth vortex to our visualization, in this, the fourth stanza. This final clockwise upward-flowing vortex contains the frequencies of our intent and sends out the healing energy to that which we are helping. When you have the complete Holy Grail vortex visualized, open your heart chakra to send and receive the love from this miracle that you have created. Visualize the healing you are doing and be open to receive any messages regarding the work you are doing. Release the Holy Grail Vortex so that it may connect completely with the healing task of your intent. Send it forth to the place that it is needed. If you are performing the Holy Grail Vortex with others, feel their love and connection to the work you are doing. Feel the connection to Mother Earth, Father Spirit, your guides, and all living things. Send your love through the Earth's grid. Be grateful. Give thanks for this experience and reflect on the work you have done. Then, move on. Connecting to Earth frequencies through the Holy Grail Vortex Prayer guides a light worker to be more proficient in healing this planet's ills and evils. The light worker will connect with sacred places, objects, and divine geometrics to strengthen the intent and the action of the prayer. Often, light workers are drawn to connect their vortexes to Stonehenge, the Great Pyramids, Temple of the Sun, Notre Dame, the Vatican, Machu Picchu, and many other locations. Other times, light workers will include visualization of a rotating crop circle pattern or sacred geometry, such as a mandala or merkaba, when sending out the love of the Holy Grail vortex. As a light worker advances, he or she will recognize upshoot and downshoot vortexes in nature around them and tie into these vortexes for their work. Pyramids, crop circles, medicine wheels, totem poles, obelisks, labyrinths, and organites are all associated with vortexes and can be used as a harmonious connection to the Holy Grail vortex. The development of divine intuition will strengthen as the student of the Holy Grail vortex learns and grows. The Temple of Saqqara has been given a beautiful gift to share with humanity. The secret is to use the mind to direct the energy of the love light. Take this knowledge of the Holy Grail vortex prayer as a blessing and use it as a path to enlightenment. Your spreading of love will benefit self, the earth, all living things, and humanity. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. May light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose that the masters know and serve. From the center which is called the race of man, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the doors where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.